Hello, welcome. In this short video, we will see that the Neyman Fisher factorization theorem basically shows that, that, that there is no single sufficient statistic for estimation of the phase from a model with a sinusoidal signal component. However, if the Neyman Fisher factorization theorem is extended to multiple statistics, then we can show that uh, there are two sufficient statistics for the estimation of the phase. So, let us look at the signal model x of n is equal to a multiplied by cos of 2 pi f naught n plus the phase component phi plus w of n. w of n, here w of n follows a Gaussian distribution with mean 0 and variance sigma square. And now we are looking at estimation of the phase component. So, the Neyman Fisher factorization theorem states that if the probability distribution of the observations x with the unknown parameter phi can be factorized as a product of two functions where the first one is g of t of x and the parameter phi and the second one is a function of the observations not the statistic then t of x will be a single sufficient statistic. So, let us see if the probability distribution for this signal model has this structure. Clearly, for this one, for these uh, observations x, that is x is basically a vector of observations x of n. So, the probability distribution is given by 1 by 2 pi sigma square power n by 2. Note that there are n observations, n equal to 0 to n minus 1. So, we have n observations, that is why the normalizing constant is 1 by 2 pi sigma square power n by 2 multiplied by exponential of minus 1 by 2 sigma square summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1. Then we have x of n that is the observation itself minus the mean which is a times cosine of 2 pi f naught n plus the phase the unknown phase whole square. So, this is the probability distribution of the observation vector x. So, now let us see if this function can be written as or factorized as a function of g of t of x and h of x. So, this is equal to 1 by 2 pi sigma square power n by 2 exponential of minus 1 by 2 sigma square summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 and then we have x square of n that is, we have a minus b whole square, which is a square plus b square minus 2ab. So, this is x square of n. Then, we have b square, which is a square cos square of 2 pi f naught n plus phi. And then, we have two a, minus 2ab term, which is minus 2a x of n cos of 2 pi f naught n plus phi. So, that is the expansion of the probability distribution function. So, this is equal to 1 by 2 pi sigma square power n by 2 multiplied by exponential of minus 1 by 2 sigma square summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1. Now, the term that is now by separating the terms which can be written as sums and the term which is a function of phi, we have a square cos square of 2 pi f naught n plus phi. This is clearly a function of the unknown parameter phi. And next we have minus 2 a summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n cos of 2 pi f naught n plus phi. And then we have exponential of basically this term which is basically a function of x not the sums of x or anything like that. So, we have minus 1 by 2 sigma square summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x square of n and this is equal to 1 by 2 pi sigma square power n by 2 multiplied by exponential of minus 1 by 2 sigma square summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 a square cos square 2 pi f naught n 
plus the phase phi. And then we have cos of A plus B. Cos of A plus B. Cos of A plus B is clearly equal to cos A cos B minus sin A sin B. So, by using this trigonometric identity, we have minus 2A minus 2A summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n cos of 2 pi f naught of n f naught n and then we have cos phi. The second term is clearly equal to plus 2a sin phi multiplied by the sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n sin of 2 pi f naught n. And then we have the function exponential of minus 1 by 2 sigma square sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x square of n. So, clearly we can see that the probability distribution p of x of phi is not equal to a function g of t of x the parameter phi multiplied by h of x. I mean we can clearly see that h of x is equal to this function that is exponential of 1 minus 1 by 2 sigma square summation of the squares of the observations. So, this is clearly equal to h of x, but this one does not have a single statistic. So, here there is no su single sufficient statistic for estimation of the phase component. And from the theory on the phase estimation, we know that we need both of these terms for estimation of the phase component. So, so clearly there is no single sufficient statistic for phase estimation based on the Neyman Fisher factorization a theorem for a single sufficient statistic. However, if the theorem is extended such that the probability distribution has a structure that, that has the first one is g of t1 of x comma t2 of x and the phase component phi and the second one is h of x then clearly the probability distribution here can be expressed as this structure that is t1 of x is equal to the sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n multiplied by cos of 2 pi f naught n and t2 of x is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n sine of 2 pi f naught n. So, given these definitions, we can write the probability distribution of observations of the given signal model as 1 by 2 pi sigma square power n by 2 exponential of minus 1 by 2 sigma square summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1. We have a square cos square 2 pi f naught n plus phi that is a square cos square 2 pi f naught n plus the phase value phi. And then we have minus 2 a multiplied by the uh, the statistic t1 that is we have minus 2a so minus 2a t1 of x multiplied by cos phi that is we have a cos phi here and the second term is clearly equal to plus 2a sin phi multiplied by t2 of x that is plus 2a t2 of x multiplied by sin phi so clearly this one has 1 by 2 sigma square as a denominator and this is the first function of the probability distribution. I mean the first factor of the probability distribution. The second one is exponential of minus 1 by 2 sigma square summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x square of n. So, clearly this is g of t1 of x comma t2 of x on the phase component phi and this is clearly equal to h of x. Therefore, the extended Neyman Fisher factorization theorem is valid for this uh, structure that is for the phase estimation problem t1 of x and t2 of x are jointly sufficient statistics. However, note that there is no single sufficient statistic for the estimation of phase